Good evening, Oaks family. Can you see my prayer closet is still here? It hasn't changed hardly at all. Only added like one name since I was here last, I think. Harriet Harley. And uh, anyway, praise Jesus for today. Thought we were going to get really dumped on this morning with rain, but cleared out. Got beautiful, very warm. And uh, so it turned out being a really beautiful day. Uh, just watch the news. Lots of stirring going on still uh, and very local. Peoria, Quad Cities, and uh, just uh, something we need to pray about. And I think we ought to start out praying about that again, like right now. So let's just start out with some prayer time and then we'll look at our Jesus calling. Father, in the name of Jesus, we join our hearts together. We're interceding together for uh, your peace, Jesus, and uh, especially in the midst of chaos, in the midst of uh, lawlessness, and uh, praying that a, a, a just cause, Lord, is not turned into uh, something awful and uglier. It already is, but even more so, Lord, we pray for peace in our cities tonight. Special prayers for our peace, police officers, Lord. Uh, so many that have to go out in the midst of this, forming uh, defense lines and trying to protect uh, innocent people and businesses. And Lord, just praying that you would protect them. We're sorry and repent for those, uh, for officers who have been hurt, uh, who have been, I think, even more than one at least killed. Lord God, we pray uh, for... Uh, uh, just for the police forces and security forces and National Guard people, uh, Lord, that you would uh, please be with them, bless and help them bring uh, peace and law and order back to uh, these cities. Uh, lift our prayer to you tonight. In your name, Jesus, in your powerful name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Uh, let's do our little Jesus calling tonight. It's kind of short. It'll help us kind of uh, just have peace in his presence. Boy, what a timely little thing we are going through. She had no clue about some of these things. I know that. But enjoying peace in his presence, that's what we're looking for. That's what we want. That's what I pray that we're all finding, uh, peace in, in the presence of Jesus. Uh, I've got two verses. Uh, I'll read them, Psalm 18 and 30. As for God... His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. And a shield is for defense against uh, lawlessness, against adversaries. Uh, so that's a defensive passage there, scripture. Now there's an offensive scripture passage, and it's Isaiah 41 and 13. I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. There's our offensive weapon, and that's uh, the Lord our God taking hold of our uh, our right hand. And for us lefties, okay, we, we deal with it. He takes our right hand and uh, leads us uh, uh, in, in uh, through the fear, out of the fear, beyond the fear. Hallelujah. He's helping us. Here's her. Her little piece here, Jesus speaking to us. I am involved in every, in each moment of your life. I hope that over the weeks that we are getting there and that we are there, that just recognizing and uh, resting in his being involved in every moment of our lives. I have carefully mapped out every inch of your journey through this day. Now, this is evening. Hope you read this this morning, but yeah, that was a wonderful thought. We've had the thought a few times along the way already. Every little inch of your way today, and uh, I just kind of go back, and after I finished my uh, hour 10 plus 10 this morning, looking at 1 Corinthians 15, what an awesome chapter. Just a beautiful chapter. Wow. Perspective chapter for all of us in the midst of all the stuff that's going on. But I uh, took off uh, over to the church because... You know, we're wanting to get ready for outside service. And I'll have a little bit more, I'll have a lot more about that. Uh, we have an elder board meeting tomorrow night. 
And so just doing some final uh, things and discussion and and then uh, want to get something out Wednesday for everybody. But anyway, we know we've got to have a lot of power out there because we've got the amps, uh, we've got the keyboard, we've got two computers and uh, the camera and everything. So, you know, I ran three circuits out to the side of the building today. So, so we have ample power and two Cat5 wires because we've got to run two uh, computers now uh, so we can run our uh, Facebook live stream. And so all that's got to be set up. And just had a great day doing that. Got it all uh, put in. I was just thrilled to death and just loved doing it. And uh, anyway, Joni and Molly came over and pulled some weeds, kind of getting the grounds looking uh, a little nicer, better. And there's a lot of poison out there. And uh, so I just kind of, leaves the three, leave it be. Remember that. Okay. And John Lindell came over and he stained uh, the, the stage. And so it looks got nice oaks color to it now all that brown dark brown stage so it looks a lot better too but anyway ever into the our journey this day he was with us even though much of it may feel haphazard and i don't know if it felt too haphazard for me today sometimes it does uh, but not so much today i uh, hope your day whatever it was if it's haphazard or not uh that the lord and jesus is with you because the world is in a fallen uh, condition, things always seem to be unraveling around the edges. And we are in the midst of that, aren't we? Certainly there's a lot of unraveling around the edges, even maybe at the very heart of uh, our country. Uh, we have these protests. Uh, we have, and I just was heartbroken tonight on the news here about a black police officer was shot and killed. I thought, oh my gosh, what is happening? unraveling expect to find trouble in this day and there is trouble in this day uh, in our land and close by not far away from us the very places Joni and I uh, were shopping on uh, Saturday and and are the very places where uh, I think they had a shooting in Davenport uh, and you know like, wow look how quickly things change at the same time, trust that my way is perfect, even in the midst of such messy imperfection. When I think about the messiness, and again, I'm kind of maybe going a little bit on this, all that's going on because it is so uh, important uh, right now. But, you know, Romans 8, 28 promises us that all things will work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And I, I was watching the news and these... Uh, several black pastors uh, came on and it thrilled my heart i mean they are going to get in the middle of this and they are going to i'm praying that it is an opportunity for them to minister uh to their community but maybe maybe more beautiful more more life-changing than ever before i pray i pray so and just hearing them speak about uh jesus and the Word of God, which we share with our black brothers and sisters. And uh, just, we got a common blood type, the blood of Jesus. And just hearing them say, you know, how they're moving in and trying to get the ears of these uh, people who, who have started with a good cause and things have went off the rails. So just really pray for them. Pray a lot for them uh, that they will minister in these situations. And God will truly turn it for good. Because they love him. And they're calling out people uh, to love him. And be called according to his purpose. His way. And justice. Uh, yes, justice uh, be done. Stay conscious of me as you go through this day. Remembering that I never leave your side. And I pray this is, uh, we're all at this point now where we know that. Jesus never leaves our side, and that brings us just a great source, our greatest source of comfort in the midst of whatever's going on. He's right by our side, right by my side right now. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he's omnipresent everywhere, but he is. Uh, receive it. Let his spirit be with you and in you. Let the Holy Spirit guide you step by step. 
protecting you. And you know, the steps of a righteous man and woman are ordered by the Lord. Never forget that. That's a, a straight out of uh, Proverbs. Can't tell you the chapter, but I know where it is on the page on my Bible. Protecting you from unnecessary trials and equipping you to get through whatever must be endured. So it kind of protects you, kind of the know when to hold them, know when to fold them, uh, know when to walk away, know when to run, all those kind of things. But, you know, there's some things you have to go through and they're hard, but, you know, best just to go for them. Go with the Lord and, and get them taken care of. As you trudge through the sludge of this fallen world, wow, that sure sounds appropriate right now, doesn't it? Some of the things that are happening. Keep your mind in heavenly places with me. Thus the light of my presence shines on you, giving you peace and joy that circumstances cannot touch. I want to be a person that shines. I want to be a person that that has a heavenly shine on me, the light of his presence, and the light uh, shines on me, through me. Uh, you know, I, I hope you know people like that. People that, that this Jesus just shines through them and the light shines through them. Uh, and you know, I got to thinking today, I, I haven't seen Jeff Schilling in I don't know how long. And he was over at the church. They were loading up a bunch of our scrap, uh, him and Mark Fessler today. And uh, when I went over and went over and just always smiling. Uh, now I got that's got to be from Jesus. I don't know where else you could get that sh shine in Jesus uh, all the time, especially these kind of times. But uh, anyway, just a good buddy. I've always loved the shine in it, on his life and in his life and through his life. And and uh, we love to eat ribs together. That's kind of a little thing we do. And uh, always have loved doing that. Love going to the drag races uh, together. Uh, love going to uh, uh, junkin' for Jesus and just working and things like that and you know I hope you know people that just got to shine on them and and uh, the presence of, of Jesus the light in the presence of Jesus and then I want to be a person like that I hope uh, to people around me and the people that I pastor I hope you do too and just let Jesus shine through you let him give you peace and joy that circumstances cannot touch that means that you have it every day is peace and his joy. Do you have the peace of Jesus? Do you have the joy of Jesus uh, in the depths of your heart uh, this very day? I pray that you do, especially as this evening uh, winds down, especially in the midst of all that's going on. I'm praying uh, that the peace of Jesus and the joy of Jesus is in you okay, can't be touched by any circumstance. Or any situation. I know I've said that before. But it is a place to get. That is unlike any other place. That you can be. And that's that. In the depths of my being. His peace. And his joy. Always there. I can always get there. Uh, no matter what else is going on. So I hope as your day winds down. That you'll reflect on that. Reflect on that last line. Uh, just. His peace and joy shine on you. Uh, let's pray together. Father, praying, asking, seeking, begging uh, for the peace and joy of your Son, Jesus Christ, to be in each and every one of us right now, this moment, and especially in this moment in our country, Lord. Um, we're praying for the peace and joy of Jesus to be in everybody's life. Praying to be guided by Him. Praying to trust in Him to order ourselves. Want Him to have, Lord Jesus, you to have our right hand today, right now, this moment. That we walk with you into the end of this day. And get up in the morning. Grab your hand and let you grab ours, more importantly. And lead us, uh, lead our, order our steps in the day ahead. Uh, help us wind down our evening. Thank you for a beautiful day today. And hope of another one tomorrow. In the midst and in between that, Lord, please grant us sweet and deep sleep. That our bodies would rest. Our minds would be at peace. Our minds would be uh, filled with your joy. 
Jesus. We love you. Praise you. Lift our hearts and voices to you this beautiful Monday night. Hear our prayers. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Oh, did I lose my connection and I re got, got reconnected? I don't know. Anyway, love you. I don't know if I'm still on or not.